Chekhov 27, and I am the lifeguard of this public pool. British hippo noises. Hey, no running near the pool, you fucking asshole. God damn it. No crystal knocked near the pool. Oh, sad gay Hitler noises. Hey, dickhead, either get in the pool or get the fuck out. No loitering. What do you mean you can't swim? Oh my God, shut up. I don't care about your disability. Look, I'm just gonna teach you how to swim, all right? Oh my God, shut the fuck up. I said I would teach you. All right, Leroy, swimming is easy. Easy as one, two, three. All right, now kick. Eh, he'll figure it out eventually. Do y'all remember those old Nickelodeon cartoons? Rugrats, Invader Zim, Rocket Power? Those were fucking awesome. I love those shows. I was raised by some of those shows. But there has always been and always will be some degenerate French frog fucker who has to come in and ruin everything I fucking love. I'll bet you that guy's name is something stupid, like Pierre. And I'll bet you he was balls deep in a frog when he said, Oh, ho, ho. you know what would be great? What if we took Nickelodeon cartoons and made them do a Mario Party? Then he snorted a pixie stick and shit himself. Fucking... Canadian immigrants. And so, Nickelodeon Party Blast was made on a budget of three ham sandwiches and the first season of Mr. Meaty. You can run, but you can't hide. Order fries with that. Tell all your friends, yeah. Nickelodeon Party Blast is fucking weird and not in a good way. I'm gonna say this right now. If you think that this is a high quality game that is worthy of people's time, you have no taste. I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out you drank out of the fucking toilet. You disgust me. The game opens with a weird little cutscene of all the characters fucking around with some pipes and... Holy fuck! What happened to Jimmy Neutron? Why is he staring into my soul? This is the image you see when you look up sexual harassment in the dictionary, right above a picture of Ubisoft. After that horrifying intro, we're introduced to Cat Dog, who act as the announcers for the game. Oh, I can't wait. Now, before we start the game, we have to pick a character to play as, and oh, Fuck no! God, he looks so much worse! What the hell happened to you? He looks like he's been fucking the neighborhood cat for crack money. And I don't even want to know what the fuck Tommy is on right now. But by fuck do I want some. Also, Cat Dog are having a fucking conversation that we just can't fucking hear. What are you two talking about, huh? You talking shit? The game hasn't even fucking started yet. I already want to throw it out a fucking window. I guess I'll pick Zim. He's the only one on the roster who doesn't look like he's about to molest me. So, you have six mini games to pick from. So, we'll go through each of them. Let's start with Pipe Challenge. Fuck this game! I cannot understand why anyone thought this was a good idea. So you have two things that need to be connected via pipes in order to gain points. But other players can take your pipes and use power-ups to sabotage each other. It's really simple, but so boring. It's not hard or anything, but you move so slow and the controls just don't feel right. It's hard to explain, but everything feels stiff to the point that you feel like you're simply suggesting movements rather than actually making them. It's honestly fucking depressing. This game is making me fucking sad. So let's move on to food fight. The goal of this one is to throw food at the other players and finish as the cleanest one. This one is a little better than the pipe one since it actually has some environmental stuff to play with, but that doesn't mean it's good. The controls here are basically the fucking same, except now you have to aim, which is just another level of fuckery. Hey, Eliza Cutberry, come here. I'm gonna cover you in my secret sauce. 
God damn it, not again! Besides throwing food and using some environmental stuff to your advantage, you can also pick up players and throw them, but that doesn't function well. But something that doesn't function at all is the goddamn camera. It keeps trying to keep every player in view, which results in it flying all over the fucking place like it's being operated by Michael J. Fox. It's also really difficult to understand where you are in the space, which is only made worse when the camera is zooming in and out and swinging all over the fucking place. I'm telling you right now, this fucking sucks. Let's just move on to the next one. Basketball. God damn, do I love me some of them hoopily doopalies. Not here though. This this is fucking awful. The goal here is to grab a ball and rack up points by doing tricks and grinds and shit before making your basket in order to get the highest amount of points. It has the same control issues as before, along with the fact that the camera is usually pulled way too far back. Just so you can have as difficult a time as possible knowing which collection of pixels is your character. Also, I'm just bad at this apparently. The computer keeps stealing balls from me, pushing me on the ground, calling me gay. Sometimes when I try to grind, it just doesn't work. And there are giant testicles that fall from the sky that you can get stuck in. Help! Police! All right, that's enough of that shit. Let's move on. You've chosen Squirt and Splash. I've chosen what? Huh, I thought this was a kid's game. Okay, here's one you can't fuck up. Just a simple racing mini game. How bad can it be? What the fuck is happening? There is way too much going on right now. Why is there no room to move? Why is this so hard to control? Why do I keep getting stuck on fucking everything? Why does this game fucking exist? Yeah, Leroy! <laughs> Okay, I feel better now. Back to your swimming lesson, Leroy. All right, at least the next one can't possibly be as bad as that. Oh my God, this is worse. This is so much worse. I can't fucking control anything. I can't even score a fucking goal. Oh my God, where did all these goddamn clams come from? It smells like a goddamn vagina factory in here. God damn it, I can't take it anymore. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Zero out of five. Fuck this game. Oh, and by the way, a thick and veiny thank you to the wonderful workforce who have been working tirelessly both day and night without a single bathroom break in my cherry orchard. I love each and every one of you. Now get back to work. Last week, I was lying in bed, dreaming sweet communist dreams, when I was suddenly awakened by the sound of capitalist fuckery. I looked out my window to see none other than George Washington cutting down one of my cherry trees. So I immediately called the KGB, who swiftly captured the president with a clever combination of peanut butter traps and Scooby-Doo pornography, then removed his testicles and ground them into a fine paste, which I now use as lip gloss for my fancy dress parties. Because no one, fucks with the orchard. 